for a good Sunday morning to all Storm fans out there this morning. The, uh, this morning, your Southwake Storm Navy girls or ladies are going to be playing against the Chicago Cheetahs, uh, Chicago Cheetahs Bowman team. I think that this team may have formerly been part of the Team NC organization and may have rebranded themselves here. So uh, we are going to be the away, away team today. Today's games are single elimination, so uh, one and done as we are now going into the bracket play. Leading off number seven, Lucy Bertram. She takes the first pitch low in the dirt for ball one. Bertram is a 2025 grad from Broughton High School. Catcher, utility player, good contact hitter. Which is outside off the plate for ball two. Good eye by Bertram there. She swings and a foul ball off her foot. You can hear Coach Mike saying, walk it off, walk it off. <laughs> She swung that, caught it in front of the plate, and it came right off the left front foot. We know Bertram is very tough, though, being a catcher. She's got a lot of hits by softballs that she's received. Back in the box now, ready for more action here. Takes a fastball up in the zone called strike two. Tries to go a little bit higher up in the zone, but Lucy Bertram is wise to that trick and does not bite on that high fastball. Ball down in the zone. She swings and strike three as they throw over the first to complete the out. Love to see the storm that ladies though talk to each other as Bertram was passing information on what she saw from the pitcher onto our second batter, which is number 20, Riley Meyer. Meyer, the 2025 grad from Cleveland High School, outfielder for the storm organization. She slaps one towards second base, seconds over to first for the second out of the inning. Storm still looking for their first base runner here now, but two away. Batting number 19, Caitlin Hunt. Hunt, the 2024 grad from Willow Spring High School. She swings at the first pitch. Foul ball down the first baseline for strike one. Hunt is also a uh, UNC Pembroke commit. She plays the corners for the Storm, first and third. Pitch low and away outside for ball one. She swings it down and misses for strike two. Pitcher looks like she's throwing probably about mid 50s. Hunt grounds that one to second base, and second base puts it over to first for out number three. So the storm go quietly in the top of the first inning here with uh, three up, three down, and go to the bottom of the first, still remaining scoreless.
more fans as a blustery fall morning here in Clarkson, South Carolina. See the wind blowing. Uh, you can see uh, Kendall Wallace's hair there. So throwing the rubber is number 16, Kendall Wallace. Behind the plate, number 13, Bridget Masso. First base, number 19, Caitlin Hunt. Second base, number 7, Lucy Bertram. I'm sorry, second base, number 85, Kalen Bowles. Shortstop, number 10, Sadie Johnson. Third base, number 27, Kenzie Collin. Left field, number 5, Addison Smith. Center field, number 20, Riley Meyer. And in right field, number 7, Lucy Bertram. Pitch is called ball one. Fastball is low and outside, according to Blue, for ball two. Swing ground ball. Kinsey Collins over to Caitlin Hunt for out number one. So Storm will run away here. Batter showing bunt, pulls it back, takes the pitch. Umpire says it's up in the zone for ball one. Yeah. Wallace fastball inside corner that evens the count at 1-1. One, one. the right height, but I think the blue says it was off the plate outside for ball two. Change up, and the batter is way in front of that one as she swings over the top of it for 2-2 count. First change up the Wallace had thrown, and that uh, batter was not expecting that. Sends back the fastball, and it is a foul ball as it hits her off the inside part of her leg. So Wallace now two strikes on the batter here, trying to finish it off. Fastball again upstairs for ball three, makes the count full. Playoff pitch, ground ball to short. Johnston over to Hunt. Nice scoop by Caitlin Hunt at first base for out number two. So the storm with two away here. Fans, if you notice the uniforms they're wearing today, you see the pink there. This is for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month for October. First pitch inside corner, strike one. Ladies, I just recommend you go and get your annual exams done to fight this bad disease. Swing a foul ball down the third baseline, strike two. Kendall Wallace are hitting the count now, 0-2. Swing the ground ball through the middle. 
single for the first base hit of the game. with a runner at first base here, two away for the storm. I'm not sure where that one missed. It looked good, but that's ball one. Green ground ball, foul. Third base side. Keeping an eye on the runner at first base here. See if he's going to try to test Bridget Mazzo from behind the plate. Big time inside there. Makes the count 2 1. ball down the third baseline. That makes it juices wild here with two balls, two strikes, two outs, and run at first base. Oh, got a dead ball. Oh, foul ball. He says it hit the end of the knob. About to say, it hit off the knob of the bat and then it hit Bridget Mazzo in the hand. Just for the viewers watching online there. So, Coach Mike's coming out to take a look at the Mazzo's hand there. Already down two players this weekend here. Mazzo is going to stay in here right now, but uh, I think Mike is getting another uh, catcher on standby, so somebody to suit up. <clears throat> Change up low in the dirt, that makes the count full at 3 2. The ball hurts when he hits the hand, but it hurts even more when it's a little chilly and breezy this morning, too. Ground ball, get through the five six hole. It goes and rolls all the way to the fence. As the runner from first comes all the way to score. So runner comes around to score, first run of the game, and the batter advances all the way to second base. on the other field. 0-2 count. Swing the check swing. That is obstruction by the runner. So that is out number three. away to field the ball and the runner going from second to third ran into Sadie Johnson at short for the third out of the inning. 
so the Cheetahs, they get a big one run across in the bottom of the first. They leave one on base, and they lead the Southwest Storm Navy ladies one nothing going to the top of the second. Leading off for the storm in the top of the second is number 27, Kenzie Collins. Collins, a 2024 grad from Holly Springs High School. First pitch up in the zone for ball one. Collins is a uncommitted right-handed pitcher. Third base shortstop. Good bat as well. Kind of way for ball two. Any coach is looking, Puddle is an athlete. Also runs cross country. Swing the ground ball to short. And she is safe at first base. Infield single for Kenzie Collins. Finishing up with Collins, though, she actually ran the nationals at the cross country competition last year. And is having an outstanding cross country season so far this year. She's at first, no outs for the storm. Batting number 85, Kaylin Bowles. Bowles, a 2025 grad from Holly Springs. She squares the butt and it, there's Terrence. Okay, so that is, the coaches want to say that it hit her in the box or out of the box where she would be out, but home plate did not call anything. And the infield umpire is not seeing anything. So I'm registering as a single right now. The ball went straight down. But now the home plate umpire is going back to the infield umpire. And he's not going to. He was watching the runner at first and probably could not see. The infield umpire's job is to make sure that the runner is not leaving the base early. So he was probably looking there and they're gonna let it stand as called. So that is an infield single for Kalen Bow uh, Bowles. So that puts Collins at second base, Bowles at first. And batting another high school teammate from Holly Springs, number 16, Kendall Wallace. Also a 2025 draft from Holly Springs High School. She's the uh, right-handed pitcher the, for this game. Okay, first pitch upstairs, ball one. Wallace uh, currently an uncommitted 2025 for any college coaches that may be looking for a right-handed pitcher or outfielder. Pitch is off the plate, outside for ball two, throw back to second, not in time. As Kenzie Collins gets down in the dirt and a hand back in safely. Ball bounces and she, Collins is going to third and she does a hook slide and the whole base comes off the bag or comes off the uh, thing. <laughs> so Collins was taking it literally as far, or physically as far as trying to steal the base as the base comes undone. Pitch is ball four for uh, Wallace. That loads the bases here. Now the Spartanburg field here has breakaway bases here, and when 
Collins hook slid, uh, slid into third base there. The base came free, and she was taking it with her. So a courtesy runner coming in for Kendall Wallace for pitch. Uh, so she's the pitcher, is number 95, Emma Peacock, running at first base. It's going with a golden opportunity here, though, to put some runs across, having the bases loaded with no outs. So batting for the Storms, number 10, Sadie Johnston. Johnston, a 2025 grad, middle infielder from Cleveland High School. First pitch high and away upstairs for ball one. Let's see if Johnston can get a ball to the right side, a single or a sack fly. Another pitch high and away, ball two. Looks like the pitcher's trying to pepper that outside corner there. Having a little difficulty finding it at this time. And that one comes across the middle of the plate. Called strike one. Pitch off the plate again, makes the count 3-1. <clears throat> Pitcher's trying to see if the batter will chase that outside pitch and roll it over so they can try to get a double play by coming home and then back to first. She swings and it's over the third baseline. Oh! Coach Kevin should have exhaled over there, but it was foul by a couple inches. <laughs> Kevin was calling... Fair, blue was calling foul. <laughs> so now uh, runners will be on the move here with a uh, 3-2 count and a ground ball to third again, foul ball. Nice dance stamp by Collins over there to avoid being hit by it. So the opposing coach just said if it goes to third again for her to tag third and throw home so they can tag Collins out for the double play. <laughs> the third base, our third base and Coach Kevin about ran into each other that time. So the infield is actually pulling or shading toward third base here. That opens up a hole between first and second as the second baseman's clo uh, playing close to the bag. She goes back to the shortstop. It is bobbled. And everybody's safe as the throw hits the opposing. That's a good play there. The ball hits the coach on the opposing team. And that is an automatic two bases for the runners. So the throw gets away from first, and the runners get two bases as the coach was outside of the dugout. It looks like a change of picture here for the Cheetos. As it looked like the Storm ladies were finally timing the uh, starting picture here.
Okay, so new pitcher for the uh, Cheetahs is finished her warm ups here. So we have recap we got Sadie Johnson at third base, still no outs. And batting number five, Addison Smith. First pitch is low in the zone for ball one. Smith, a 2024 grad from Fuquay Verena High School, also a Brevard College commit. Good outfielder here for us. Takes another pitch low for ball two. Comes up in his own, a slow roller to first. And second baseman barely got over there just before Smith. So Smith is out, but she gets the RBI. As Johnston comes home to score. So Smith does her job hitting to the right side to get the run in. So nobody on, one away, Summer Baston at bat. She lines one off the third baseman's glove. And Baston is safe at first. Okay, so Basden was a 2027 grad from a charter school in Burlington, North Carolina. She reaches first base, and Coach Mike is subbing in number 11, Zoe Sneed, for Summer Basden, who was basically the catcher, or was actually the uh, designated player. So we have Sneed at first base, one away, and that flipped order around, going back to Lucy Bertram. 25 grad from Broughton High School. Catcher utility, change up. Wow, that ball was like a wounded duck is going in so slow there. But it is off the plate for ball one. I think Lucy could have swung three times for practice before that one got there. Outside corner painted. Throw gets away from the first baseman as Mike is getting out of the way there, trying not to. Let's see if Bertrand can put a charge in one here. Inside corner of Pepper for strike two. Need at first base with speed over there. Let's see if Bertram can get it one. Change up, swing, and catcher does not see it, and it drops behind her for harmlessly as a foul ball. That's one of the hardest plays for a catcher is on a foul ball trying to find it. Good rule of thumb is doing a time method, telling the clock. That way she knows which way to turn and run or look up. One, two count for Bertram though. Another change up, flutters outside for ball two. Storm batters need to be paying attention as they're coming up to bat though, seeing the uh, fastball and change up combination of the Cheetahs pitcher. Likes that fastball, puts a charge in it, and Zoe Sneed goes halfway and then is running back to first as the center fielder catches it for out number two. Catcher and the pitcher was thinking that was three outs and they were going to the dugout. And the opposing coach was not too happy that they did not have situational awareness there. So Snead at first base, number 20, Riley Meyer to batter. Meyer, 2025 grad from Cleveland. She slaps one off the third baseman's glove, an infield single for Meyer. And 
this sets the table now for one of our heavy hitters coming up. So runners first and second, two away, and batting number 19, Caitlin Hunt. Hunt, 2024 grad from Willow Spring High School and a UNC Pembroke commit. Change up outside for ball one. The pitcher does a good job of changing the speeds. It, it almost looks like a slow pitch coming in there. Spit the fastball though here. There it is and Hunt swings through it though for strike one. Storm batters are starting to realize she's going to be following that changeup with a fastball there. They're trying to jump on that. Another fastball, the slow roller. Oh, nice play by the third baseman, though, as it had just enough spin to go foul for strike two. Caitlin Hunt was trying to walk the dog down the line there, and, and it worked for about three quarters of the way, but foul ball, so reset. Two runners on, one two count, two away. Hunt with a hard ground of all to third, and it goes through. Sneed runs through and comes around to score. Nice base running by Sneed as Coach Fulcher center pulls stock of the barrel. Sneed come around to score, Hunt at first. Meyer at second, number 27, Kenzie Collins. Check swing, holds up, but it's called strike one. Collins, a 2024 grad from Holly Springs High School. Where I hand a picture of third base short. See if she can find some grass here and get another run in for the storm. Change up, and she waits on it and lifts it into center field and with a little help from the center fielder, it clears the fence for a three-run home run for Kenzie Collins. Feel bad for the center fielder, but it works out for the storm. Is that? Bounce ball bounces off of her glove for a three run homer for Kenzie Collins. So there's nobody on base now, two away. 85, Ken, uh, Kalen Bowles at bat. Pitch high and away for ball one. Bowles, the 2025 grad, utility player from Holly Springs High School. Currently uncommitted. Pitch low in his own. Ball two. Pitch up in his own. The catcher are doing a great job trying to bring it down, but the umpire does not bite. Another pitch up in the zone for ball four as Kalen Bowles takes a stroll to first base here. So Bowles at first base, number 16, Kendall Wallace, AKA Wally at bat. Wally, a 2025 grad from Holly Springs High School. Pitches inside off the plate for ball one. Wallace is the pitcher of record here, right-handed pitcher, and also outfielder for the Storm organization. Currently uncommitted. Pitch another one inside off the plate. Throw back at first, not in time as Kalen Bowles dives safely back in there so Christy can wash the uniform. She gives me the thumbs up over here. Uh, 
it's a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Good thing about dirty uniforms today is they're not white. <laughs> Yesterday were white uniforms. Bowles goes, and the tag is high, but uh, it is caught for out number three at third, uh, second base. So a very productive inning there for the Storm as they have multiple runs come across here, leave nobody on base. And going to the bottom to second, they now lead the uh, Chicago Cheaters eight to one. Okay, Storm with that productive top of the second inning here. Now see if we can follow it up with some strong defense here. First pitch, ground ball. It's a foul ball as it hits the uh, bat twice. Swing ground ball off. Oh, nice pick up by Collins at third base. <laughs> so that play there, ground ball off of Kendall Wallace's glove, directed toward Collins, who picks it up and guns it over to Hunt. First out of the inning. Pitch high and away for ball one. Yeah, kudos to Caitlin Hunt over at first base there. She was full stretch mode. Kind of like Elastic Girl over there trying to get as far as she could to get that out. Inside corner painted for strike one. Upstairs and away, 2-1 count for Wallace on the batter. Off the plate inside, makes the count 3-1. Batter verifying with the uh, umpire the count she's got. Pitch bounces that way. She runs to first base, but Branza quickly recovers. So a base runner for the Cheetahs here. And no, uh, one away for the Storm. See if our Storm defense can pull two at the middle here. Swing and a fly ball. Nice diving catch. Oh, almost got a double play another way, but nice dive and catch by number 10, Sadie Johnston, for out number two. Not a time on the throw back to first. Mm -hmm. 
but Johnson with the situational awareness to go back to first and try it. Two away now. Strike called inside corner. Batter holds up on the high fastball. Swing and a miss. Fastball outside corner. See if Kendall Wallace can finish the deal here. One two count on the batter. There it is. She paints that inside corner. Strike three. Out number three, courtesy of Kendall Wallace. See, I have to actually go when you don't. No, but I do. So going to the top of the third here, Southway Storm Navy leads 8-1 to one of the Chicago Cheetahs. Leading off of the storm is Kendall Wallace. First pitch high and away for ball one. Wallace, the 2025 grad from Holly Springs High School, right-handed pitcher, outfielder. Just got the third out of the previous inning with a strikeout. She grounds one at the middle. Shortstop comes up, throws over to first for out number one. The storm of one away now and batting number 10, Sadie Johnston. Johnston is a 2025 grad from Cleveland High School. She squares the bunt and pulls it back as it is above her helmet for ball one. This one in the short left field. Left fielder comes running up and makes the catch for out number two. So the storm with a quick two away here in the top of the third. Number five, Addison Smith, the batter. Smith, 2024 grad from Fuqua Arena High School, also a Brevard College commit. She starts to swing, holds back, but the umpire calls a strike one on the outside corner. She swings at that one, and it's a foul ball as it bounces down and hits her in the box for strike two. So Smith probably needs to be ready for a change up here. She's behind in the count, 0-2. There's the changeup, and she swings and misses for strike three. So the storm good quietly in the uh, top of the third there. Three at three down, and going to the bottom of the third, lead 8-1 of the Chicago Cheaters.
first pitch from Kendall Wallace in the bottom of the third. Upstairs for ball one. That one short hops the catcher here. Defensive change, too, as uh, Lucy Bertram is now behind the plate. And Zoe Sneed is in right field. Nice Fastball outside corner, strike one. Those are the only defensive changes for this time. Bertram behind the plate and Sneed taking over in right field. Change ups outside for ball two. Side. I thought it was ball three. I must have missed one there. So that gives the Cheetahs a runner at first base with no outs. See if the runner tests Lucy Bertram's arm behind the plate. Sure, where that one missed there. Swing the ground ball, nice backhand. There's one. There's two. There's your Southwest Storm double play, Jason. the double play there. Storm cleared the bases and two away. Gorgeous double play. Count Collins to Bowles to Hunt. Inside corner, strike one. I'm sorry, strike two. I did not get that first one as I was still tagging players from that previous double play. High and away for ball one. Space so that evens the count at 2 2. Oh, that one went straight off the batter's right kneecap. You could hear the impact of that, and she was the starting pitcher, too. So I hope she's okay there. That ball came in and hit right off her kneecap. She hit right off her kneecap. Clue's giving her a little time there to try to walk it off. I'm sure that was a little painful there. Just gives the infield umpire a fist bump there and thinks she's ready to go now. Surprised at the pain tolerance that these ladies can handle. So the Cheetahs with a runner at first base, two away for the storm. Swing the ground ball, past a diving shortstop there, a single for the Cheetahs. Gives them runners at first and second.
Storm looking for the third out here to get out of the inning now. Infield has options as they got to uh, force it. Any bag. Change up. Batter's way in front of it over the top. Strike one. She started a swing, saw it was dropping the change up, and she tried to go down, but um, another one. Collins gets it and tags third base. She takes it unassisted for the third out of the inning. So the Cheetahs get base runners, but they strand two on base here. Going to the top of the fourth here. Storm leads eight to one. Okay, leading off for the storm is number 31, Summer Basden. She holds the bat back on the check swing and takes low for ball one. I'm not sure what the umpire was telling the pitcher there. Summer grounds one foul down the third baseline, that evens the count at 1-1. Last at bat hit a line drive off the third baseman's glove for a single. Third is playing way back. Change ups upstairs. Ball two. Third baseman is playing about four feet behind the bag. You rarely see that. Upstairs again, ball three. Some of our other Southwake Storm ladies would see that and they would lay a bunt down in a hurry over there on third if she's playing that far back. Bastion swings and misses, so that makes the count full, three and two. She swings another foul ball down the third baseline and she stays alive to see another pitch. Summer Baston's keeping our leadoff batter, Lucy Bertram, on her toes over here in my own bet circle. Ooh! That got the bat, but also got a piece of Summer. Our catchers are taking a beat in this game as Mazzo's already taken one in her right hand, and now Baston has got one on her left. Brings back images of our last tournament with Savannah Bain getting hit in the back of the right hand and fracturing a digit in her right hand between her knuckle and her wrist. 
Pitch is outside for ball four. Okay, so Summer Basden's coming out after getting a walk, and Zoe Sneed, number 11, is going to run for it first base. So Sneed at first, Lucy Bertram at bat. Bertram, 2025 grad, catcher utility from Broughton High School. Currently uncommitted. She squares the butt, lays a beauty down right in front. And she is safe at first base. I had just said a couple of pitches ago with the infield that far back, it was just a matter of time before one of the other ladies put one down. Third base has now come in front of the bag. Tough situation here for the Cheetahs though with runners on first and second and Riley Meyer at bat. Another slapper here. She takes the pitch high and tight inside ball one. Meyer, 2025 grad from Cleveland High School, outfielder for the Storm organization. Currently uncommitted. She squares, lays it down, but it is foul down the third baseline. Good play by the catcher, catching it as it's coming back up. In case it blows a play, she was looking at third base. Nice short hop, hockey style by the catcher back there. Keep that ball from going to the backstop and the runner's advancing. But that's ball two. Pitch high and away makes the count 3-1. See if Meyer's got the green light here or she's taking. She's taking as Allen's ball four upstairs. Got time called by the catcher. She goes out to speak to the pitcher. But the Cheetahs are flirting with danger here as they now load the bases. The storm with no outs and a heavy hitter up at bat in Caitlin Hunt. So bases loaded, no outs. Caitlin Hunt, the batter, 2024 grad from Willow Spring High School. Takes the first pitch below the knees for ball one. The UNC Pembroke commit here has a golden opportunity to drive in a couple more for the storm. Inside corner, strike one. Change up as she waits on it and puts a charge, but it's going to be a sack fly as Zoe Sneed comes in from third base to score. Hunt did a great job of waiting for the change up to get there, keeping weight on her back foot and not opening up too early. Does her job, sack fly, deep left. So number 27, Kenzie Collins at bat, 2024 grad, Holly Springs High School. Uncommitted, ground ball to short, and it bounces up on the shortstop, and everybody is safe. Sub coming into bat here. It's not going to be Kaylin Bowles. This will be number 95, Emma Peacock. So 
So the base is loaded one away. Peacock, a 2026 grad from Fuqua Verena High School. Slapper, very quick on the bases. Utility player. She swings and misses at that one. Change up's taken high. Messing with the timing with Peacock as she's trying to time being the slapper. That change up made it a little hard there to wait back. Swinging a miss. For strike two. That evens the count. Two two. Is a slow roller and everybody is safe. So base is still loaded one away and Brianna Tenors is subbing in for Kendall Wallace. Tenors, the 2027 grad, currently at Southern Wake Academy. It's a foul ball here, home plate, strike one. This one is a beauty though. It drops right there at the knees for strike two. So if I was the batter here and I'm not, but uh, that change up there, I'd be expecting fastball coming here. There it is and she fouls it down the third baseline. Swings through it for strike three. So bases loaded two away now for the storm as the uh, runners will be running on contact. Batting number 10, Sadie Johnston, 2025 grad from Cleveland High School. Outside corner called strike one. Johnston, good middle infielder for the uh, storm organization here, currently uncommitted. Side corner again, Pepper for strike two. If I say if I was a bet man, I could get a lottery ticket, but I'd be expecting the change up here in an 0-2 count. Maybe not with the bases loaded though. Nope, she goes back outside again, swinging a miss for strike three. So the Storm have a good top of the fourth inning there as they push two more runs across and leave the bases loaded. They now lead 10 to 1 over the Chicago Cheaters.
folks, you probably heard Lucy Bergstrom say, ball's in coming down as she's throwing it down to Sadie Johnson to second base. Uh, defensive changes though for the Storm coming into pitch. Relieving Kendall Wallace is number 87, Brianna Tenners. Playing second base is number 95, Emma Peacock. And in left field is number 14, Haley Moss. First pitch, high in the zone for strike one. That's a fastball probably about 58 miles an hour. Low in the zone and the ball was hit. Haley Moss looks like she lost it in the sun there. So it rolls to the fence and a double for the she does better. Mossy's getting her shades over there now. So a runner on second base with no outs here for the Cheetahs. Swing and a miss. Fastball, strike one. Swinging another ball down the left field line that is foul as Tenors gets ahead in the count, 0-2. Batter way back in the box here. She reaches and another foul ball down the third baseline. <laughs> it's like the batter's trying to give her as much time as she can as Bree Tenors is bringing in gas to her and fastballs. Swing and a fly ball in the center field. It is dropped. It's a single for the batter. The runner at second stays, though, anticipating the catch. So no runner advance. That ball was hit right in the Bermuda Triangle there between short center and left field. And all three looking toward the sun. So the runner first and second squares the bunt. Nothing going on there as she pulls it back for ball one and the runners stay pat. Where's the bunt? She lays it and it goes foul down the third baseline. <coughs> Lucy Bertrand came up in a hurry there as it was spinning and eventually went foul. Whereas again, oh, I thought she offered it that one, but it's called ball two. So that makes it a two-one count now on the batter. She lays that one down and it is fair. And it is an infield single there. So that loads the bases for the Cheetahs here with still no outs for the Storm. See if we can get a ground ball to the infield and come home, get the force, and back to first for a double play. Swing and a fly ball in the left field. Caught by Haley Moss as the runner stays at third base for out number one. Moss battling that sun out there, but the shade tilt that time. She comes up with the ball. So one away, bases loaded, still loaded. Pepper inside corner, strike one. Rise 
fastball, swing and a miss, strike two. That ball going up in the zone and the batter chases it. Well, she tried to get the outside corner there, but it's off the plate for ball one. Good idea by Bertram and Tenors though. Changing the eye level of the batter, in and out, up and down. Ball. The umpire says it's up in the zone and the batter did not swing at it. 2-2 two -two count. Swing and a jam job coming home is one. Back to first. There's your southwest. Oh, oh, almost a double play. But uh, on the catch there, Emma Peacock drops it. But we get the force out at home on the fielder's choice. So base is loaded now, two away. Swing a fly ball. This one is staying in and is caught by number 14, Haley Moss for out number three. So that concludes the fourth inning here as we go to the top of the fifth now. Southwest Storm Navy 10. Chicago Cheaters won. Okay, seven in to come in to bat is number 14, Haley Moss. Moss of 2025 grad from Hornet Central High School. Swings at the first pitch to strike one. You got this, girl. You got it, girl. Moss with two catches in that last inning over in left field. Changeup slips out of the pitcher's hand, rolls to the plate for ball one. Swings and a ground ball to third. Oh, misses the bag by about six inches. It's a foul ball. That would have been a difficult play for the third baseman as the bag was right there and it was about to hit it. So Moss got a battle now and we want one two count on her. About to say, pitcher was starting her rotation, and the batter and the umpire had not given the go-ahead. Moss still had her hand up there, and the umpire. Slow roller to short. Short comes up and 
is able to get her over at first base though for out number one. Okay, so batting now is number 11, Zoe Sneed, coming in for Summer Basden. Sneed, a 2025 grad from Rockingham County High School, utility player. Change up upstairs for ball two. Sneed plays infield and outfield. Very quick on the bases as well. She swings at a ground ball to second base. Second base comes up, flips it to first for the second out of the inning. So we have another sub here as we were flipping our order around. Coming into bat for Lucy Bertram is gonna be number 24, Caitlin Slink. Mike and Kevin getting all the girls in they can here. Slink is a 2024 grad, currently homeschooled. Left-handed pitcher, first baseman. She takes the first pitch, a changeup low in the dirt for ball one. <coughs> Slink with a single over second base. You can hear the teammates there for Slink. She is, they appreciate that hit by uh, Caitlin Slink. Lucy Bertram comes back in to run now as Slink is one of our pitchers. So batting number 20, Riley Meyer, 2025 grad from Cleveland High School. First pitch, out of wave, ball one. Slink had the uh, batting average though, that one for one right there. Oh yes, nice golf swing by Riley Meyer as she gets it over third and down in front of short. setting the uh, ladder here for the meet the lineup. Storm runners on first and second again. Two away on 19, Caitlin Hunt. A UNC Pembroke commit. Takes the first pitch, high and away, ball one. Hunt, your corners, plays first and third, 2024 grab, keep away, uh, Willow Springs High School. Down in his own, swings and grounds it foul down the third baseline. Strike one. He waits on that change up and lifts it to center field. But caught by the center fielder for out number three. Good piece of hitting by Hunt, though. She waited for the changeup, wait back, but just like previously, hits it to the outfield. So, going to bottom of the fifth, South Wake Storm 10, Chicago Cheetahs 1.
Everyone looking for three outs here. This time is quickly going by here. This could be the last three outs of the game. First pitch from Brianna Tenner is high and away for ball one. Swing the fly ball, lifted into left field. Caught by number 14, Haley Moss for out number one. Down away for ball one from Tenors. Inside corner fastball, strike one. Ball lifted right field, caught by number 11, Zoe Sneed, for the second out of the inning. You can see Sneed trucking that ball, though, as it was coming right out of there. So, two away now, batting. Is the starting pitcher for the Cheetahs takes that one for ball one outside. Her last at bat, she got hit on her right knee. Swing the foul ball out of play. Fastball outside for ball two. As Bertram and Tenner is trying to extend the zone a little bit, see if the batter would chase. <coughs> Swing and a fly ball. That is not coming back over the left field fence. A home run for the Cheetahs batter. Nobody likes giving up home runs there, but if you are going to give one up, make sure there's nobody else on base. So that was the good part of that one there, as the buzzer is now going off here. So buzzer's gone off. The Cheetahs are the home team, so we need one out, and that will be the game. <laughs> Swing the foul ball, strike one. Swing and a hard ground ball, a hard line drive off of Collins's glove. She's trying for second, but she is safe as she slides in and gets a hand on the bag just before the tag. First time we've seen that runner on base, but I uh, knew that she was kind of quick there. And she slides safely in with the hand reaching the bag just before Peacock pops the tag on her there. So the Cheetahs with a runner at second, two away. Ground ball in the five, six hole. And they're gonna stop the runner at third because they know that run really doesn't matter. Outs are more important here. One more, girls. 
So that splits the runners at first and third here. Cheetahs were two away and the runners split at the corners, first and third. I'm sure that the, they will, Lucy will probably not even try the runner at first. More concerned about preventing another run in. Center takes the first pitch inside corner, strike one. Okay. Bertram just gave the signal to the infield on what to do with the runners. Ground ball to third. Collins up, throws it high, but in time for uh, Stretch Armstrong, a.k.a. Caitlin Hunt, to make the third out of the game. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, folks, that concludes the game here today. Uh, Southwake Storm Navy ladies win 10 to 2 of the Chicago Cheetahs. Just trying to verify, we will be playing again at around 1.15, so we got a one game break. Until then, have a good lunch, and we'll see you at our next game. <laughs>